Pastor Jakes. If there is one thing I cannot abide, and it is a hypocrite to the southern states faithful, I ask you, have I once ever asked anything of you? Have I once ever pleaded for your affection, for your support, for your money? But no, this pastor wants to save your soul. Is he a man of faith or a man of gold? You be the judge, Lamar D. Time after time I have offered you the hand of friendship and time after time you have turned me down. You have chosen poorly. We're gonna crown some champions. Uh, where are the belts? Yeah, three MP left with the <laughs> hey, <laughs> Three MP, what are you doing with belts, man? This guy's still walking around with these belts. <laughs> Can you believe the arrogance on this man? It's like he owns them or something. At this point, I, I absolutely can't believe the arrogance. One of the most arrogant people mind. I've ever met, You're and this is professional man. wrestling. <laughs> He and I came to Southern States Pro at the same time, about five years ago, and I've hated him since day one. Well, he keeps this up. I'm going to be right there with you. Hey, you're, 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 you're so short. Why are you so short? These belts have been my belts since come my day number one. Shut your mouth and know your role. I've been, I've been the first champion of Southern States Pro since Combine Day number one. Tonight, I will allow Josh, I will allow someone to temporarily hold the first gold for Southern States Pro. But understand, they're just borrowing it. It will all come back to three no. This guy talks any slower. We might not even get this match on the way. I am on and on and on. He needs to join a support group for people that talk too much. It's called on and on and on. But the meetings last forever. He can join whatever he wants as long as he doesn't join me on commentary. That's all I care about. You're not too bad. If you, uh, if you can't find anybody to manage here in the future, you know, we can do this more. I'm fine with that. Well, I appreciate that. But here we go. Tag team action. Oh, here he is. Oh, look at him. You don't have to come over here. That's fine. You can you can stay over there. This is a massive diversion from what's really going on, Talia Farrow. It's just 3MP taking over Southern States Pro. Same way he did at the district and everywhere else. So... Take that to the bank, buddy, because it's not business, and I'm not a businessman. I am the business, man. That was entirely too close for me. I'm just going to tell you that straight you, up. You could have hit him or moved or something. You didn't have to sit there and listen to all that. Or let me rephrase it. You have to make me listen to all that. <laughs> I'm not particularly gifted at violence but I am gifted at getting people to do violence did on you, my behalf. Did you see that guy? I think you could take him. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Here comes his guys, the dudes in kimono. As of earlier tonight, two of the most hated men in Southern States Pro. Oh, 100%. You do not come after Duncan Mitchell and Aaron Dallas and not pay the price from the SSB faithful.
I'm sorry, I still have that sermon ringing through my ears. I, I'm trying as hard as I can. I thought we were over that. You know, that was two segments ago. We can move on. We've got tag team titles. I know. Around <laughs> right now, and we've still got one team left to make their entrance. And here they come. Come the seven sons, and they're in a bad way. After what happened at the top of the show, Dallas and Duncan are out not only for the championships, they're out for redemption against 3MP. And if you have never seen any of these teams, any of them, you are in for a treat. Apologize in advance. It, if I'm breaking copyright law against 3MP, because I hear what you're saying, 3MP. You have a contract, blah, 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 words, words, words. But he is always Duncan Mitchell. He's been Duncan Mitchell. To not call him that will be very difficult on my part. I will guard them with his life. <laughs> you can call him Duncan Mitchell, you can call him whatever you want to, but hopefully, in the case of the Seven Sons tonight, you can call both of them champions. Shugabe meets Frank Lafilo in the ring. Now the Northside Heroes, as was pointed out during the introduction, undefeated in tag team action in season one. So don't count them out just because of the drama involving Dallas and Duncan. Shane 
the wrestling here from Sheeta Gabe doing a little bit of shooting on Frankie. There we go. Maintains that headlock on Frankie. Rolls him over, pinning predicament, but just a two count. We almost had an elimination early. That's right, just to bring everybody up to speed. Elimination rules. Once one of these tag teams gets pinned, there is still going to be another tag team that needs to go. If you want to win this match, you can't only beat one team, you have to beat both of your opponents. Line tag there. As Jose tags in and hits the big crossbody on Frank. He goes for the cover. Headlock now. Jose on to Frankie. Now, these types of matches have always been fascinating to me. The strategy that has to come into play. How, how long of rest can you take outside the ring? Let everyone else tire themselves out. Well, I've got to tell you, early on, as you see, there are only two men can be legal at a time, not one man from each team. Duncan and Dallas both still in their corner. And they're in prime position right now. Their hope is that either the dudes in Kimona or the Northside Heroes can get eliminated first before they even need to break a sweat. That just might happen here as Jose kicks out the leg of Frankie. Goes over, grabs the arm, sinks that arm bar in really tight. Pain, it's exquisite. It makes me smile. <laughs> there he is. So you don't even think about the sermon. Right? You ain't got to worry about it. Just look at this violence. Look at this beautiful, artistic violence on display. That's all you need to be your old self. Why did you have to bring it up? Why did you do that to me? Well, like I said, don't even think about it. There's, no, you don't even need to think about the fact that there was a real life preacher out here oh who was getting money from everybody that he didn't deserve. We all know he didn't deserve it. The most important thing here is that we have got this tag team match right now, and there is a huge double team there from both of the Northside heroes on the Frankie. Goes for the cover, but just a two count. You doing all right? I'm all right. I'll be all right. Why is it, why is it warm over here all of a sudden? This is the shot. So does Jose as now the blind tag to Duncan from Frankie is made. Now Duncan, the first of the seven sons to make his way into this match. Duncan does not want to take the easy way out as he makes sure that Shooter Gabe is ready to wrestle before they even lock up. Great show of respect here for the Northside Heroes and Seventh Sons, but there is still gold to win as Shooter Gabe starts landing shots to Duncan. All right, all right. Now, both of these teams' fan favorites that are in the ring right now. See, I'm back. See? <laughs> Wraps him up. Overhead suplex from Duncan. Big shots here now from Duncan. Taking down Shooter Gabe in a hurry. Tags in his partner, Dallas. Fan favorites do not champions make. You still have to bring the goods. Well, the Seven Sons are trying to do everything they can to do that right now as we see this big double bulldog to shoot a game. Dallas goes for the cover. Just a two count. And the dudes in Kimonas calling for the tag. That surprises me. If I was the dude in Kimona, I would want to stay out of this for as long as I can. It is a three-way dance after all, as Duncan tags in. Seven Sons thinking more double team here. But No gets caught against the ropes by Jose. Arm drag there from Shooter Gabe. Control the head, tag from Jose, Snapmare. Big clothesline from Gabe and a corkscrew splash from Jose, but Duncan kicks out. The heart, the spirit, the desire. It's 
really what this is all about. It's about that, and it's about these beautiful championships that we have over here in the commentary position. That is the prize that these men are all fighting for. Yes, they're sitting right here in front of me, and as I promised, I will defend them with your back. You don't have to do all that now. We can just call the match. Don't worry about doing anything with my life. But the dudes in Kimono are now in the ring, and they're double-teaming the North Side heroes. Things are breaking down in Austell, ladies and gentlemen. And Grandpa Booker T trying to restore some type of order. Big back elbow, followed by a splash in the corner. Huge hip attack from KJ. And another hip attack from Frankie. This might be it for the Northside heroes, but no. Just the two count, says the referee. That's, okay. I don't need to repeat what, uh, what Frankie just said, but, or KJ, my fault, but you get it. Stay away, all right? I think everybody heard. <laughs> Twists him, hits him in the back of the neck with that big elbow, and follows up with a knee from Frankie. I heard that impact all the way over here. Close two count, but a two count nonetheless, as Jose was ready to get in this ring and break that pin up. You guys are about to realize why we are going to be the best tag team in this fucking place. And again, trash talking when action is required. So just enough time for shoot a game to respond and hits Frankie with that jawbreaker, follows it with an Itsuguri. And he got all of it. I mean, you can see the angle from here. He got every piece of it. Jose calling for Shooter Gabe to get to that corner and tag him in. Slowly but surely makes it, but also KJ is tagged in as well, ducks the line, kicks Frankie out of the ring, and sling blade to KJ from Jose. Irish whip reversed. Springboard it's him into the crossbody. Dallas now in the match. Fireman's carry and gets taken down from Jose. Duncan follows up with a flying knee. Shooter game shoots him with a flying headbutt to the midsection of Duncan. Everything is broken down at this point. All four of the Northside Heroes opponents are in the pit. I see that look in their eyes. I'm sure you see it too. Oh. As shoot a game, pulls down the rope and Jose flies over the top. And this is not baseball. If they land in the crowd, you can't take them home. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to take home Frankie or KJ, but oh, Frankie out of the way of that spear just in time, but it's a second attempt from Shoot a game as Jose climbs up top and gets oh. caught by KJ. Veteran teamwork right there. Veteran teamwork. Big spinning side slam from KJ. Oh my goodness, the double team. And just like that, we have not only our first <laughs> elimination, but the first loss in Southern States for the Northside Heroes. Well, there it is. You heard it from the announcer. There must be a winner. The first loss ever in tag team competition for the Northside Heroes comes for the battle for the gold. Frankie doesn't want any of Aaron Dallas. He's telling them, tag in Duncan. And Dallas obliges. Go 
Frankie's got a score to settle with Duncan as he fires that first huge shot directly to the jaw of Duncan. And Dallas tags back in. Ducks the line, picks him up. Huge power bomb there from Frankie and kicks Duncan off the off the corner. This might be oh. it. Dallas kicks out just in time. I want to roll back if I can just a second. Duncan did not seem to appreciate that tag. You're completely correct. The, the look on the face of Duncan said it all. KJ, snapmare onto Dallas. Frankie back in the ring. Huge shining wizard. Follows up with a senton. A well old machine in progress. Fans here in Austell, Georgia, trying to will Aaron Dallas back up to his feet, but KJ drags him into his corner. Tag made from Frankie to KJ. Frankie now in the ring, and both men working together. To Dallas. Quarterback in this. Calls for the hip attack, and there it is, directly into the face of Dallas, and a second one from Frankie connects. KJ sends Duncan off the rope with that huge boot. Dallas covered once again. This might be it. No, it's not! I would have told you that that was the end. I would have said it. I would have bet on it. I was ready to say the exact same thing, but there is still a lot of fight left in Dallas and Duncan. Dallas fighting back, shots to the midsection of Frankie. The SSP faithful in the pit, willing him on. Dallas. The SSP crowd telling Aaron Dallas, wheeling him to his feet. But Duncan once again knocked off the apron. Every time Duncan finds his way back to his corner, he gets shot right back off of the dudes in Kimono. But Dallas hits a huge insecurity to Frankie. Both men are down in the middle of the ring. You have to get on him. You have to get on him, Dallas. Dallas slow to make the cover. Well, he's been on the bad end of this for so long. The energy expended just to get that move off. Both men make their way to the corner. KJ's tagged in. Duncan's tagged in. Ducks the line. Hits the shot to Frankie. Close line to KJ. Close line to Frankie. European uppercuts from Coast. Coast. Oh, Frankie into his own partner. Tornado DDT off of KJ. Incredible. Pulls him up. KJ breaks it up just in time. Dallas struggling back to the apron. Ripcord, huge forearm shot right to the jaw of Duncan. Off the ropes goes Frankie, off the set. Off all the ropes goes Frankie. Hits him with the famous, sir. Duncan doesn't know where he is. Duncan doesn't realize that Dallas has been knocked down. Tries to make his way back to his feet as the Southern States faithful pound the mat in the pit. Gold is on the line. Tag team gold. AJ wants to take it home. And where else other than Southern States folk can you get that close to the action? Look at that. Look at those little faces right there, ringside. Oh! Dallas once again sent flying. 
This is not a place you want to be. Frankie removing the mouth guard of Duncan. Tosses it all the way to the entryway. He wants Duncan to feel every bit of what's coming. Oh, oh my, goodness, my God! Right on the butt! That's it. That's it. You're, you're, the belts await them. They're right here, gentlemen. Penny even come and claim them. Stops Dallas from getting in the ring and saving Duncan. Frankie laying the boots to Duncan. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! And this is your son! And he did this to himself! KJ follows Dallas. Not simply, not simply satisfied with a victory. They want a statement. KJ forcing Dallas to watch what happens next. Dallas gets set face first into that corner post. That steel, unforgiving, unpadded. Ooh, it's beautiful actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dudes and Kimonos looking to send Duncan away, and this might be it. But no, Dallas breaks the pin up just in time. How deep did he have to dig to get in there for the save? How deep did he have to go? Duncan, it, Duncan and Dallas looking for the comeback of the century. As Dallas eats that forearm shot. KJ and double super kicks to a kneeling Dallas. The dudes in Kimono want to add insult to injury. You heard him beat him with his own move. The disrespect. I'm a lot of things, but I try to be respectful. <laughs> oh no! Reverses it, Frankie! Kicked his old tag team partner! Dallas is fired up! The shot! That's how it's done! Directly to Frankie goes to the number one, two, three! We have no we champions! Have champions! The seven sons have defied the odds! What a way to cap off Season 2, Episode 1, Southern States Pro Wrestling with your new Tag Team Champions. Both of these men fought through all of the adversity in the world, whether it be the early contract dispute, if we can call it that, from 3MP, who then drew the services of dudes in Komodo to then defeating not one, but two tough teams to win the first ever Southern States Tag Team Champions, and well deserved, might I add. I'm speechless. If the rest of season two goes like tonight, we are all in good hands. And I couldn't have said it better myself. Let's go ahead and send it home before that preacher comes back out. Ladies oh, you had to say it. My name's Rob Weathers. He's Talaferro. Thank you so much for joining us on the season two debut of Southern States Pro. And we'll see you next time. What we're all about. We are the standard setters in Southern States Pro. We are the standards of Southern States Pro. Tag Team Wrestling, Singles Wrestling, doesn't matter. Seven Suns are on the up. Now they put a camera in our face. There's too many losses, bro. We're one of the best tag teams down here, bro. Dude, I know, I know. But get, dude, that match wasn't a complete loss. See? See how badly we beat Duncan in front of his mom? Oh, and dad? dude, we got him, bro. He made me get, him. dude. He put 12 stitches in my lip. I bet he needs at least 12. How that size 12 feel, Duncan? Uh -huh. Hey, but you know what? Hey, uh, Seven Sons, you guys like to think you're so tough. Give us a rematch April 16th, all right? Combine day, we weren't even trying to win. We we're just trying to show up for the judges. But April 16th. 
I'm gonna whoop your ass. The title's been better around these kimonos, baby. And Duncan, enjoy that present we left you. See you next month. Okay, you feeling good, AD? Feeling good? I'll feel good when we hit that bar up in a little bit. Yeah, I feel good, I feel good. I feel like I got a razor blade inside my mouth from what Frankie Filto tried to pull on me out there. That's okay, that's okay. You wanna know why? I'm planning on hanging on to this belt for a long time. Same as Aaron Dallas. We have been busting our asses since the first combine day. All right? One full year. One full year of progress. One full year of dedication. One full year of hard work. And as far as I'm concerned, the next year belong to the Seventh Sons. 